Good morning everyone, this is Nelson J and you're welcome to our channel. I want to upload this episode of uh, NECO 2024. In this episode, you're going to learn how to download and install the NECO 2024 system. And the walkthrough is simple. I just uh, hope that everyone would uh, be able to do that in these few simple steps. As you can see on my screen, if your system is a new one, probably you are not going to have the software installed, but the processes will be the same. The first thing to do about the installation is to visit the browser, whichever one you have. Then you go to neco.gov.ng After clicking on neco.gov.ng you will be taken to the uh, official page So as of last year Windows 10 would not be able to work with the Neco software but this year I haven't tested it so after testing it I'm going to inform you if your Windows 10 system would be able to work with that so i'm using windows 8.1 to test it if you have that you are not supposed to have problem following this tutorial then uh, don't worry the installation can work fine on the windows 10 but what i'm saying is the software might be on uh, incompatible to open so you scroll down to this part where it says download the offline software that is the 2024 my system is a 64 bit I will click this if it's a 32 bit please click this one how do you know your system is a 64 or 32 bit if your PC has uh, on the C drive if your PC have two program folders it means you are a 64 you have a 64 bit system but if there is only program files then it means you are on a 32 bit system or on the contrary you can right click here properties and then it will tell you your system uh, the processor the uh, ram and then 64-bit operating system x64 based processor this means that you have a 64-bit operating system on a 64-bit uh, based processor so if you are a 32 bit it will inform you you are an x86 or a 32 bit operating system on a 64 bit processor whichever one so on that note you click on the one you want to download it will take you straight to the download page the reason the the download happens this way is because the server seems to have an issue so what you are going to do is you would select on the address bar and then enter it one or two times until the download pops up don't worry about what you are seeing on the page just keep clicking on this point until you have your download popping up so i already downloaded this software i'll just head over to the installation and show you how it happens i will go back to my downloads find my download and this is what i have so i'll run i'll just open this don't worry about running as an administrator so the installation process is straightforward it's going to install some prerequisite for the beginning and then i'll just accept this so it wants to install first of all it's not supposed to go here it wants you to install java for the start if java is not installed then before installing the photronic software So I would install this, I would finish this and then it goes on to install the software. So now my, that my software is ready, 
I'll just finish this. The process will be longer for a new system because Java will not be installed on your system. And if Java is installed, it will just keep the Java and install your Futronic uh, biometry. Remember, it does the required biometric for your registration. So, in the next episode, we are going to look at uh, the dashboard. the NECO 2024 software and I believe that uh, all of you will have fun in the, during the registration processes remember the registration is mostly easy but the problems that arise during the registration are what we try to solve on the way so this is <coughs> the welcome screen <coughs> this is what you are going to see at the beginning of the launch of the software nothing else so out in the next episode we will see how the dashboard will look like and how to log in so if this uh, video has been helpful to you please this